where we are and why we are here. Our priests and many of our people have brought to our notice that our cemeteries are not places that we would like to go easily because there are so many things complicated in our cemeteries. Some of our cemeteries are not used for burying the dead only. They are used for other purposes also and by other people also. So that is why we have made, I have drawn up along with our priests, what's called the directives for the burial of the dead in the 19 cemeteries of the Archdiocese of Bangalore. There are 19 cemeteries. And the bad news is there is no place for burial. Perhaps some of you may have to be buried in the cloud now. <laughs> they call it cloud burial now. Because there is no place on the earth. And that is why the first thing that we would like to do is put the cemeteries in order, to a certain order that everyone gets. If not, two into five feet, at least two into five inches. It's going to come to that. If we go on at this rate, we will not have any place at all. And therefore, in the directives, which copy you can take from Father, read it nicely. It's a 10-page booklet with details about how we would like to proceed in the future. And the most important thing is, in future, we will not be able to build the graves build the graves like this. But we will be only, it will be only possible for us to be buried for temporary graves, perhaps three to five years. And then we will try to provide niches for everyone who is here. And the niches, you know, it's almost one feet by two feet, or perhaps even smaller, so that some of our our bodily effects, our bones, whatever it is, can be placed there and so that there is place for everybody. And for this, we need your cooperation. We need your cooperation. We need your support. We need your help to make the cemetery a memorable place for us, to a place where we can not only bury our dead with dignity, all equally, not one above, one below, one in a good place, one in another place, but all in dignity. And for that you have to support us with this one. Perhaps someone will ask, what about the graves that are there already, that are already built? We have said in the handbook that those of the families who have these permanent graves, we may concede one grave, permanent grave of your family, provided you give in writing that all your family members, as far as possible, will be contained in that grave that is permanently built. If you have more than one grave, we request you to transfer to the one grave that is there and return to us those other graves, the places of the other graves, so that others also can be buried temporarily and those who return the permanent graves, perhaps we will give one niche for you, a free niche, so that as you sacrifice a little, the grave and allow to be buried in the other permanent grave, we will try to adjust that much as possible. So therefore, please cooperate with Father John Anthony, the parish priest and all this one. And I want this Kalpali Cemetery to be the model cemetery for all the 19 cemeteries in Bangalore. So therefore, start working from now on.